I looked at how musicians and non-musicians process the syntax of music and language in the brain. Well, I think back in my junior year, I was taking this class. Uh, it was hemispheric specialization, and we were learning about music in the brain, and I was really, really um, excited to learn about how music affects the brain and all the benefits you get from musical training. And surprisingly, I am not a musician. I've never had musical training, but it just kind of really caught my attention, and that's where I got the inspiration. My advisor was Dr. Claudia Thompson, and she was amazing. When I started the IS experience, I really thought that the role of an advisor was to simply just make sure you're turning things in on time and not falling behind. But she really did that and a whole lot more. She made sure I was really enjoying the experience and getting everything I could out of it. I am one of five in my immediate family that came to the college, so I was kind of familiar with the IS process. And I kind of always joked to my friends, oh, maybe I'll transfer out my junior year so I don't have to do this big project. But when I started, I just made sure to always keep ahead and not get behind. And I didn't let myself get stressed out. And it was a great experience. Looking back, I would say I grew a lot during the experience. I gained a tremendous amount of confidence and, of course, independence. One of the things I learned about myself was that I am capable of a lot more than I give myself credit for. If I can complete this research paper, then I just need to constantly keep reminding myself that I can, I'm capable of a lot more. I will actually still be here in Worcester. I just got hired as the new alumni relations assistant here at the alumni office.